on a seven week vacation. And we went to Australia, Papua New Guinea, Guam, and then we spent three weeks in Japan. So we put this bag probably through everything it could possibly be put through for a traveler. It went on planes, it went on ships, it went on buses, it went everywhere. And we made sure it would not tip over. Uh, one day we were just, we got off in Akita, Japan, and we were shopping for souvenirs to make sure everybody got souvenirs because Akita is known for its dogs and we're a dog family. And I thought, hey, it's full of souvenirs, can't get anything else in it. Here's a ramp. Let's just let it go. It went <laughs> down that ramp and it did not tip over. And that just made my day. <laughs> improvements on it were amazing. I mean, there was very little feedback that we could even give. It was it, like minor feedback, like making the zipper pools different colors so we would know whether they were expansion pools or whether it was a bag zipper, uh, putting names on the bag so people like me who get confused <laughs> know which bag is what. But the weight distribution on the new bag it made that a completely new system. It made the bags bigger. The way you made the, and I'm sorry, my memory, the one mm -hmm. section of the bag open like a suitcase made it so much easier to pack, even with the electronics. There's just not much I could make on suggestions other than minor things. 